Hey guys, David Plummer here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. Now, recently we did part one of our test of DJI Terra. This is their new mapping software, along with the Phantom 4 RTK. This is a really powerful combo for anything from agriculture to police and fire departments who wanna use it for crime scene reconstruction, to surveyors, to construction. There are several uses for this combination. So my business partner, Michael, he is all about mapping, all about drones. He knows this stuff inside and out from drone deployment to PIX4D, he decided to try to run a map using DJI Terra and the Phantom 4 RTK to see how it turned out. So we flew the map in our last video. Now he's gonna actually process that map and show you what it has to offer. Take a look. Okay, we're back here at Aerial Influence Headquarters and we're gonna process the map. We put the SD card in and you're given two files. You're gonna go to survey and we did one map. So one mission is basically going to show up in one file folder. Double click that and now you can see all of our JPEG files. So now I'm going back into Terra and here's the map we flew. Go over to the sidebar on the right and you're gonna hit the map. Now it's asking to add photos and asking what type of map it is, the mapping scene, the resolution. Uh, for this, we're gonna actually go with a high resolution so we're gonna see you probably in a couple hours. So. It's giving you field, urban, and fruit tree. So I'm gonna just go with field. And of course, you've got the 2D map and 3D model. I'm just gonna go with the 2D map because I only did, you know, straight down shots. Now we're gonna to go to add photos, hit the plus, and there it is. 515, 2019, started at 2.39 p.m. Central Standard Time. Go all the way down and hit shift click. We're gonna drag all those in. And down here at the bottom right, it added the photos. And you can see how it populated all of the photos onto the field that we just mapped. Now we're gonna hit start reconstruction. This tip area, it's telling you that re reconstruction is going to take a long time. Uh, drone deploy, same type of deal, it's primarily just uh, cloud based, but you're uploading the photos and you're processing them on their servers and then you get a uh, email saying it's done. Um, this is basically the same idea, but it's gonna be constructing them on your, uh, your own computer. So having a fast graphics processor is, is gonna help you even more. I'm gonna hit start reconstruction and I don't really need to save a copy of all the new files or new photos in the mission folder, so I'm just gonna hit continue. And down here at the bottom right, you'll see it's processing, starting to process the photos. Zero, well now just jump to four out of 234. So we will wait and we'll be back later after it's processed and we'll show you all the outputs that it gave us. Okay guys, we're back in the office. We're gonna see the outputs that Terra gave us. So this is the interface for Terra and you can see our 15 plus acre map that we created. We're gonna take a look at the DJI Terra quality report. This is similar to the PIX4D. Gives us our 2D map here. Different types of information, RTK status. And we've got our digital surface model preview camera calibration information, the type of computer that you used, um, the overlap that you get. So overall, uh, I think it was a, it's a nice start for Terra. I need to delve a little bit more into it to see what kind of other outputs they give you. Uh, as far as the 3D modeling, we didn't do that. This was just a 2D model. So we will come back with further episodes. We'll also provide a link for the output. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.